I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, get funky with me. What's going on everybody? How you doing today? So here I am in Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Brampton is a city just outside of Toronto. And here is where a lot of the major opening scenes from Zack Snyder's 2004 Dawn of the Dead was filmed. Right where I'm standing, right here. Now, if you don't know the plot behind Dawn of the Dead, well, it's one of the Of the Dead movies. This is the remake, George A. Romero's 1978 classic, I believe. Don't make that noise while I'm doing this. And, well, it's about a virus that overtakes the entire world, like that could ever happen. Coronavirus! Thanks, Cardi. I'm telling you, shit is real! Shit is getting real! And essentially everybody turns into zombies. Now, we've seen zombie movies before where they attack, you know, in cemeteries. <laughs> They attack in morgues, gymnasiums, but this one, they attack in a mall. Well, they make it seem like this is really close to the mall, this area. It's not, the mall is really far away. And it's actually really close to where I live. So for three years now, I've lived right, right beside a major filming location for a pretty big movie. Zack Snyder directed it. I mean, come on. And I just kept putting it off and putting it off. And now here I am finally doing it. It's weird. I'll drive 20 hours out of the way just to film a Friday 13th filming location. But five minutes from my house, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. Anyway, look here. This is so... The movie begins with Sarah Polly playing Anna. She leaves the hospital where she works. She comes home. Wakes up, her daughter attacks her, daughter attacks her husband, then her husband attacks her. She wakes out of her house, all hell breaks loose, her neighbors are going crazy, and then she flees from her neighborhood. And this is the neighborhood, here's her house, here's where it all happened. Watch. So Sarah's house, I keep saying Sarah. So Anna's house is actually right over here. This is it right here. This is Anna's house from the movie. So she comes out there, and her husband follows her, jumps on the car, and you see Anna watching all of the action in the background here at some point in the very beginning. I'm trying to remember exactly when. But right here. She's all going crazy. All the people, the neighbors, everything. All hell's breaking loose. Then Anna gets in her car and drives down that way. Makes a right. And a neighbor stops her right there. Trying for help. But Anna's like, I don't know if you're a zombie or not. I got to get the elf out. And goes that way. Like I said, she's panicking. You would too, if you were being attacked by your husband. I don't know if you've ever been attacked by your zombie husband, but it sucks. And she goes all the way up here and rushes away down this street, all through the streets of Brampton, Ontario. So all the scenes, so this is Anna's house. All the scenes that were shot inside this house were actually built in the mall the mall that they filmed in. They built the bathroom scenes and the bedroom scenes in the mall. So they didn't shoot inside this house except for this window here where she jumps out of, right there and gets her in her car. All right, now I'm gonna take you to another location from the film. I'm gonna take you to a lot of locations from the film. Well, yeah, well, you'll see. And this is a very brief scene. I'm gonna see if I can find the exact location for this. Then we're gonna go find some real exact locations. But this one, I'm kind of curious if I can find it. I know roughly the area. We'll see what happens. 
Come along. Zombies. So when Anna flees her neighborhood, she drives up this giant highway. That's the highway right there. Now, unfortunately, it's really close to the airport, Toronto Pearson Airport. Toronto Airport, Pearson Airport. What the hell is it called? The airport. And you, Toronto International Airport or Pearson still? I don't even know. I should know that. I live here. And I fly from there all the time. I, it's the Toronto Airport. It's right over there. But you can't fly your drone. Flight restrictions or whatever. So, there goes that. But it's shot right up this highway, going that way towards Bolton, Ontario. Another small town, just that way. And a lot of it's changed, a lot of development. These buildings wouldn't have been here in 2004. But she comes out of that subdivision, well, she goes past that subdivision. It may look like it's part of hers. It's not, this is about 20 minutes away from where we just were. And then she crashes off the side of the road, just up there, and crashes into a park. The park's not here. The park's far away too. We're going to that park now. I'll show you a little bit of this kid. I wish I could show you on the drone. That's what I wanted to do, but can't do it. It just won't take off. It just won't get up. All right, right here. She drives right up this street. Car comes out of one of these subdivisions here, crashes into another one. She goes off the side of the road, way up there. Yeah, that's kind of like a drone. I'm seven feet tall, that should work. All right, let's go find that park. Now, in the movie, Anna crashes her car, and that's over in Bolton. She winds up in Thornhill. Right around here, she crashes the car over this hill. And she meets up with Ving Rhames, Marcellus, who is a cop. And they're near this playground here. Now, this playground looks a lot different. It's not the same playground, but it's where the playground was. Those buildings, new. Like I said, it's been 16 years. But then they go through a tunnel. And that tunnel's right here. And it makes no sense because they're going that way, but they come out this way. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So there's, they're playing around with the tunnel area. Hollywood trickery at its best. Let's go to that tunnel. I've been in this tunnel a few times before. Uh, I put a picture of it up on my Instagram a long time ago. Saying, oh look, Dawn of the Dead locations. And like I said, never filmed it until now. And then we used to hang out here because this is like close to where I grew up. It's crazy. Finally getting to it. Better late than now. So here we are in the tunnel now. You can hear, there's an echo. Oh, 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 oh. And there used to be a lot of graffiti down here. Like in the movie, there's a lot of graffiti. There used to be a lot of graffiti down here, but it looks like they just paint over it every now and again. Cause those darn kids, they just love graffiti. But they would have been walking this way. Marsalis, I'm gonna call it Marsalis. And Anna coming this way through the tunnel. And then they encounter, who do they encounter? Future from 8 Mile. Well, Makai Pfeiffer. But it's Future from 8 Mile. That's pretty cool. Right here. Right up here. Let's go.
So they found some more survivors and they decide the best place to go hide, a shopping mall. And that shopping mall is just over that way, but they trick it. They make it look like you're looking through this fence here at the shopping mall, but it's actually past those buildings I showed you, past those new condos. But they would have walked right up to this part of the hill right here. Now let's go to that mall, if it's still there. And there's the mall. That's it. It used to stretch all the way down there, but it's all gone now. That's right, it's all gone. They tore most of the mall down, but it was right here. This is a new shopper's drug, which is drugstore. Cosmetic clinic. Oh, perfect. Get some collagen. But all these townhouses are new. All of this was not here. Well, this was here. This over there, not here. So, sadly, the mall's gone. Oh, let's, let's, let's go inside the mall. are inside the mall and there's not much of a mall left this is pretty much it now in the movie these are all fake stores that they put up in I think Roots was one of the only ones that allowed them to use the name Roots is a Canadian clothing company but yeah this is it this is the inside of the mall and I'm getting this mall confused with a different mall if you're from Toronto you know the mall at Don Mills and Steel's I keep thinking about Don Mills and Steel's mall that I'm in that mall but this is, uh, th this is, this is Thornhill Square Mall and half of it's gone. But this is where they filmed inside here. I just literally walked around the mall with you right, right now. It used to be a lot bigger, but it was just a, it was a dead, no pun, mall. Nobody came here. There's nothing to do. Now they've got a Chez Louis flower shop. They've got a bank, Kin Kin Bakery. Kids and infant wear m and I guess he shops here. Hmm. All right, well, that was, yeah, all right. <sighs> Open, thank you. Open. Thank you. So yeah, that was the inside of the mall. All these townhouses over here, they're all new. That's where the mall continued. So they tore it down right after they filmed. Sad. Now there's an outdoor Greek restaurant. Saganaki going off all around me. <clears throat> Would have been a, looking a lot different. But right here, that's where they took a few establishing shots. Even the loading docks are gone. The loading docks were in the east part over here. And that's completely gone now. Completely gone. Ah, dude. You can't dribble, don't dribble. I can't dribble, I don't dribble. Oh, you're dribbling. Give it up, Scott. Now, at the beginning of the film, Anna, she works in a hospital, right? That was a location that I thought, well, I'm not gonna put in, because I don't know where it is. And then, as I was thinking last night after I watched the film, I was like, it doesn't look like a hospital that I know of in Toronto. Not that I know every hospital, I know a few, but it doesn't look like any of the hospitals probably not a real hospital. I thought it's probably something really close by. It's probably a building close to the mall. Because they rented out the whole mall. You know? Before it was de demolished. De de demolished. De de demolished. So, I took a look around the mall. They used part of the mall. And that part still stands. It's the library. I used to go to that library. I used to sit outside of that library, right where Anna comes out and talks to the paramedic. Do you want to see it? We'll end it there. Let's go. That's like CVS, except more expensive. So when I was looking on Google Maps, I had one look and I thought, I know exactly where that hospital is. I just had a feeling.
Yeah, I used to come to this library a lot. Now, this guy was not here. This dude right uh, here in front. But this is what they used at the hospital. And I recognize it by these three windows here. Where you return your books. Yeah, this dude. He was not here when Sarah Polly was here. But all those scenes, well, all that scene took place right here. Sarah's off to go home, thinking it's going to be a normal, normal work week. I got some bad news for you. You're going to encounter your zombie daughter. Hey, it happens. Now, since I'm here, and since a lot of the action takes place on the roof, and I have my drone, I'm going to attempt to fly, raise the drone. I'm not going to fly it over the roof because as, if you watch my channel, I, 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 I'm not that strong a drone flyer. So I'm really wary of flying it over the roof and then having to get up on the roof and figure out that way. But I mean, well, well, but I'm pretty sure part of the roof still looks the same. Let's take a look. Drone footage. Coming up. Oh, what are you looking at? Hi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm sorry I can't fly a drone, but I actually kept saying maximum height, maximum flight height, reach, blah, 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 close to an airport. Again, I'm nowhere near an airport that I know of. There's no airport around here. But I want to show you the roof. It looks like this. Like part of it you can still see from the movie. This part. That. I don't know. All right. Back to this. Is it upside down? Can't tell. I think it looks upside down. Yeah. Back to the mask. Wear a mask. Be safe. Ow. So it's covering your nose too. Go Leafs go. All right. That's it. For Dawn of the Dead. That's all I can show you. There's the mall where I used to be and the hospital. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. Watch out for zombies. Peace. Out. Ah.